Okay guys, happy Halloween. Are you ever scared, not just by Halloween, but spending all this money on audiophile gear? Is it the right people behind the brand? Is it the right gear? Well, stay tuned because I've got three brands that have now passed a lot of my intuition and then due diligence over the years. And I think you'll enjoy this video from Toronto Audio Fest. Stay tuned. Okay guys, happy Halloween. Different environment than I normally give you. This is my main listening room for my home. As you can tell, it's not treated all that well with the echo. It's my wisdom adrenalines. I'm due to reshoot my channel trailer with all the new additions, so stay tuned for that when I get time. I'm so far behind, including still stuff from Toronto Audio Fest, which is what I'm gonna share with you today. One of my favorite rooms that's definitely gonna be on my best of list, which unfortunately, I won't get to that video until after Halloween, about to leave town, but this video I think was important. Number one, it's about 30 minutes long, but well worth it for you guys that really understand the value of these shows is not just about music clips, especially this show when it was super crowded, noisy on Saturday, and then the rooms themselves, those hotel rooms are not that great. And so you combine that, you do not want to be making decisions based on what you strictly hear. You want to get to know the people behind the brands. That's much more valuable, at least to me, what I've learned over the years. Do business with the right people. You won't have any regrets, those uh, sour moments, those bad experiences that make some people even want to quit the hobby. So this is so important. And you also learn about the acumen behind the gear which is much more often than the fancy chassis. And that's especially what you're going to hear in this video because a brand that really stood out to me because I took the time to do this last year, learn about it, was Eon Art. It's an electronic maker, and they mainly do amps, in this case, integrated monoblocks. And you think, that's crazy. Where have you ever heard of integrated monoblocks? Well, we're going to talk about it a lot in the video, but it makes total sense. Go back to my video on preamp and amp synergy. Sometimes a more expensive preamp, fancier, more expensive preamp is not a good match to a certain app and vice versa. You taking that synergy out of the equation, everything consolidated, short traces or wire between the two, so much potential ceiling of performance better in the right hands. They're doing that for you. And separating by channel is much more important than sometimes separating a preamp box from a amp box. If you really think about it, it's quite ingenious and smart way to do it. But there's several other things that Eon Art is doing that very innovative, the way they design the chassis, not doing oversized heat sinks, fancy stuff to strictly go for bragging rights buyers. In fact, on aesthetics metrics, that's probably the biggest weakness. Some people are not gonna like the look of the Eon Art. But when you look under the hood and hear about what the, goes into that and the supercomputers that they use to design prototypes to get them at least most of the way there. This is a brand you should be looking out for for those that are looking for true high-end design, true technology, true difference makers doing things that aren't just regurgitating old designs and putting it in a fancier, bigger chassis to wow people on site. Uh, also, what you're going to hear about in this room is they partnered with Oracle, one of the longest standing companies in the hobby. Jock's one of the most in, you know, impressive guys in the whole vinyl realm for decades, as well as CD player. And what he designs is stuff that is timeless. You couldn't tell if his CD player was coming out in 2024 or you know, back when it did 20 plus years ago. Same thing with his turntables. He does not need to redesign anything. He knows how to do it right the first place. In fact, Eon Art partners with him to design their chassis. And this is another takeaway from this video is that these three companies, Gershman is the other one with a long pedigree of great speaker making. And these three synergize to create a great room consistently. And again, not so much what you can hear in a noisy hallway and a conference room may 
show you that, but when you really take the time to understand these brands and how well they work together and how much partnership they put into things, um, this is what you want to see in the hobby. These are the people you want to support. Um, these are the ones you want to give kudos and thumbs up to and feel good about spending what in the hobby now is very <laughs> large amounts of money. Well, it's like giving the money to Ferrari, Lamborghini, Rolexes, Patek. You're getting, at least under the hood, something that you can have pride of ownership. And what you're going to learn about is the people behind it, both in acumen and quality of people to do business with, is really impressive. So I wanted to share this video separate, do a little intro for you guys, because I think for high IQ audiophiles really looking for who to do business with, the right people, this is a great video to uh, get some acumen on that uh, front. Enjoy, guys. we we'll go back to this room. One of my favorites from last year, and I, it was real crowded yesterday. Did a little bit of music clips, but can't really tell much on a crowded day. But also, this Solid Mobile, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> importing this into the U.S. gets more pricey, but these are extremely good looking racks for, you can see it there. Hello. You're my first stop on the final day. I figured it'd be less crowded today. Yes, so. yes, 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 I know. That's good. Good for you guys. So I wanted to take a look at this side of things I didn't showcase. Again, these turntables are just timeless in design. He never has to redesign them for looks or different taste profiles. These are just, obviously nothing is for every single taste profile, but he's a master at making things that last style-wise forever. And then of course the pedigree of Oracle is pretty much unmatched for being in business in the turntable realm. And these are not that expensive at all. And you can change this color. So you can get entry level, but you could hang on to this for a very long time. Now on the flip side, Eon Art is a company that's new, but I think they could be in business a long time because they're doing some innovative stuff. Hello. I was going to try to do another recap like we did last year, talking about some of the key things in case people didn't see my video from last year. So um, what's a good time to do it? Right now is good? Right time is good. Okay. That's the best and then that we have to shut down the music a bit because yeah yeah music good be open yeah um, I, I don't want to interrupt anybody demoing it but you know no I think that's the best time to do it. okay yeah so where do you want to start because well, that's different beats you know that's the mono block yes those are integrated mono blocks yeah, right integrated yeah. yeah with a really special connection chain between them so you you're able to uh, hook many of those and, and you will multi follow each other that's what's great. Yeah, this might be a good time to turn down the music then. Nobody's really listening. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to do, give, if you can give me the cliff notes like we did last year of yeah. the highlights of your designs, because you stood out we to me. We start with the big one, so because we're gonna do we the big reduce ones? that and reduce that. So okay. You know, it will be easier for people to understand. Yeah, that. so let's, okay. these are your biggest ones, the yeah. integrated yeah. monitor. Yeah, you can call me and pick your phone, but I would like to talk to you about what's on the back. Yeah, you let's do, do this first thing. Yeah, okay. So you have this connection there. Okay. Tell me when to start. Yeah, 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 well, I'm okay. already recording. Okay, so this connection there is a link they all link all together, those amplifiers. Right. They all mono block. So you enter the phono signal in one. Uh -huh. The other channel goes directly to the other one. Right. And they are linked together. So if you touch one, the other will follow. You change volume on one, the other will follow with this. And that's a special non-network uh, communication. So it do not induce noise okay. in your other cable. Another thing that we had this year, we had the special ground connector so people can go and hook their own special filter for the ground uh, with an access direct to ground, right, to okay. access direct to ground, and that's brand new. 
uh, we have the WBT connectors, the, that's small stuff. But what one thing is interesting too is that you have a split mode, so you can get another audio signal out of the first one by transformer. Okay. It's Lundahl transformer, very, very high end, uh, mu metal. And you will split the signal without loss, and you're able to hook up to three of those by channel. So you can go three amplifying monoblock okay. by channel. Wow, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. And uh, pretty each expensive one of those too. Give but you yeah. 250 watts. Okay. At 8 ohm, you know? Okay. 400 watts otherwise. Wow. So it's a bunch of power. But the interesting thing is always the same that you see last year is that, and I'm grateful that you came and checked that because it's something new. It's integrated mono, meaning that each out has its own phone on a preamp stage. Yeah. A two preamp stage, two power supply for the preamp stage and solid state output stage. And the idea is to not exacerbate one set of harmonic aside of the others. Right. So you will notice when you listen that it's more balanced. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I want to make sure this is clear because integrated monos to me is something I've always wondered why somebody didn't do it because you're taking, like you said, the synergy out. And instead of having separate boxes for just the amps, now you've got basically separate chassis for each channel for preamp and amp so if you think that monos are good for amp why wouldn't it be the same for a preamp and you've got the synergy of the preamp and the amp so you you don't have to rethink and also a small connection back between the amp and the preamp so the preamp is more in control it's like you have a big rock uh, tied to a rope right. you don't have much control the rope the, the rock control you as much as you control the rock right but if the the rope is very small Analogy, yes, they're all they contained. Yes, so each we, channel has everything. So uh, very short, connection. short connections. Yes, and also what somebody might think is why would you have two cha chassis? But these are really behaving as one. <laughs> You're just separating by two, channel, two channel, which yeah. I think is so much better. It's the whole reason why people did monos. But yeah. now you're doing it at the preamp level too, too and taking care of synergy. So this is what impressed me, number one, about you guys, because I've always wondered why somebody didn't do exactly what you're doing. And the other thing, I think internally you're doing some pretty creative stuff too. Yeah, uh, a lot of things are different in those yeah. uh, Volume control is completely different. It's a transistor, it's a resistor drive by a transistor, but a set of transistor. It's nobody do that that way, but the good idea is always present the same thing to the preamp stage, so we know exactly how it will behave. Okay. The, the idea is always at be every volume, flexible. right? At every volume step. Yeah. Yes. At every volume step, they have less volume step, but they all the same in terms of quality. You're right. not obligated to use that at seventy percent of its power to be able to get music out. Okay. Very low, you lose nothing. You're not losing anything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We lose nothing. And that's very uncommon, even with the best preamps. So, yeah. So, we worked two years on that uh, volume card. We had a lot of problems, a lot of technology, technology, and end up with that because we think it's the best way to do it. And you also used a supercomputer to help with your emulations and stuff? Yes, we still have, uh, but I think we have the largest audio lab in Canada for sure. And one Is that right? For, for electronics. That's awesome. Uh, don't talk about acoustic, but for electronics, for sure. We have like 5,000 square feet full of equipment, a very huge computer with screen large as a room. Okay, wow. Uh, five, uh, 70 inch uh, screen, you sit in the middle of that. But the idea is also the power we use because what we do is that we take a circuit and we simulate every single slightest variation of it. And we just build the simulation that gives the result. Okay. So it's like we are having 10 per persons doing prototype. Yeah, you're board. not having to build like 100 different prototypes, wait and then try and, and fail. But to do that, you need a lot of power because it's kind of an exponential. Yeah. You take one machine, get seven, 800 different parts, take that part, make minus 10, uh, minus 10 plus 10 values, it give you tremendous amount of right. possibilities and mix and match them. Uh, uh, you can shorter a track, make it longer, change the place of the parts, all that has... Leveraging technology to do to save you time and get to a better starting point for your prototype. That's so it. yeah, that's, yeah that's great. To do that, we have an 800 uh, card processor machine, a very, very big machine, huge one. You we, can we mine bit cards. Uh, <laughs> we could. You could mine bitcoins on that. <laughs> we yeah. could. We don't do, but we could. Okay. 
but we, we mine uh, audio. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Well, yeah, I, I'd love to visit your facility at some point because, yeah, I don't think a lot of people know all the technology in this. <laughs> and they yeah, see so it, you know, and they think, okay, cool. We have a copper cat, it looks like a copper cat. Mm -hmm. But inside, you have a filter. And it's like a medical or military electronics. In the filter, you have heating resistance and temperature sensors. Temperature control, I remember so the, that. Yes. The, the filter is temperature control, so it never change value. And that and these capacitors are rated for certain temperatures. Sure. You know, they put them in these Class A amps that burn. You can, you know. Not only you burn it, you reduce their quality uh, because yeah, the quality reduces over yeah. time. Yeah. So you think it's still working, but not properly. Not to the, and the other thing is that they, if you want to use maximum their performance, for example, they have a rotation phase, and if you want to be sure that you're at 90 degrees like a capacitor should be, yeah. you have to use it in certain conditions. So we make sure the condition doesn't change. Yeah, so thermal control of interior is something that the parts want to have to behave the same. Yeah, and it's and to spec. Cold. Touch it, it's really, really cold. Yeah, reliability. You're talking about reliability, precision, accuracy. It's one thing to buy cool parts, but then if you put it in an environment where it's constantly degrading and not performing to spec, what's the point of having those fancy parts? Exactly. So I, when I heard that you're doing thermal control, because I like to do that with server builds, I do all of these other servers that I see in the market, they're not doing any kind of that control. Control. Let's take a look inside, though, because I think that's one of the things yeah, that really impressed me. Oh, well, this is part of a DAC. This is small DAC that we're working on with 15 power supplies and 15. Yeah, all those green uh, plug they are power supply. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, so here you have it. If you, I was talking about uh, copper can that we use copper because it's help us to make a shield. Okay. After that, we make as a Faraday a cage. Okay. And it's grounded. But we, uh, we use uh, the, this shield can because it's not only to protect from uh, RF and all that, it's temperature control, just as I was saying, for, to, to make sure that the frequency never change. Okay. In fact, in this machine, we have a lot of temperature sensor. You have three computers, just uh, it's a temperature sensor. Oh, really? For example, sensors everywhere. just like a computer would have. Yeah, a lot uh, of temperature uh, yes. sensor. We have right. uh, microprocessors. Yes. And the casing is made by Oracle. It's a wonderful thing. And the casing is engineered to get out more heat than the amp at full power can produce. Hmm. Meaning that we have also at some strategic point heating resistor. So we remove whatever we can, and after that we heat it to the same control points. That not only those kind of time mm -hmm. controller, they are more tight because they're sealed, but all the rest is also keep at certain temperature. Yeah, because you've designed it so that the flow of air. That's it. So it's not just throw a million heat sinks on yeah, here, overbuild. Yeah, yeah, you don't to, see any hole, but in fact, yes. on the back, you, on the back, you will see that just like the other one, that air come under it, and it's convention convection system, and the air goes up. And right. Get out there. So even more science to how you're getting rid of the heat inside a chassis than just sticking a million sure. fins sure. of heat sure. sink to look cool. Yeah. Sure. So it's it's uh, they have a lot of hidden technology. It's not really hidden. We, right. No. We're talking about that. Well, I think but for high IQ auto files, this is the stuff we love to see because this is true high end. I mean, it's, it's going to be expensive, <laughs> but you're not paying for just fancy heat sink fins <laughs> and it. you know just aesthetics. You know that. Bragging function. rights. You're paying for function and true technology. And then, again, the difference to each little thing on the sound alone may not be that dramatic, but as a whole, there's so much more pride of ownership, at least for me, if I had this than a bunch of heat sink sure. fancy stuff. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You know, this is why yeah. I want to feature you guys, because I think people should know about it before they spend a lot of money. You want true bespoke high tech electronics now you're a company that is you know on my list in that top tier so thank you we use also it's something are really simple you know people can choose the color they want things like that that's it's normal for luxury products it's yes normal. Uh, we use very durable uh, mechanics the, the the mechanics inside that move that it's all german mechanics right will stand for a lifetime in fact the product we do are made for a lifetime and the idea is that the only piece that uh, parts that will have to change they are on socket okay. and you have a card dedicated 
you have the same here. Here it's on a big, big uh, elevator, so people can see under it. But usually it's tight. Uh -huh. uh, it's the same part, the same idea. You change the car, yeah. and all the chemical capacitor that will wear in like five years, same. They brand new, so they have stay brand new. For us, it's good. For the clients, it's good. You still have the same music, and for us, when somebody go to his place, ten years later, still. still sound like the first day. Like the day, for, yeah, day yeah. one. Now, it is a hybrid design. Do you ever have to change these tubes, or are these pretty much long-lasting tubes? No, it's long-lasting, but you have to change the tubes. So. Yeah, okay. But it's a small, it's like putting gas in your car, you know? Okay, yeah. Uh, it's not so costly. The very high-end tubes for amp like that, the stereo unit, uh -huh. the top-level tubes you can find will be cost you 5,000 bucks. Okay. Uh, usually, a uh, lot of people use them they just put the high-end tubes on the preamp section. Okay. They use regular uh, tubes for the power supply. Power supply, yeah. And we, we use tubes that are available. For example, we use Air 26V6, that's the same Marshall amp and uh, guitar amp tubes. Oh, okay. But we don't use it to amplify sound. We use it to control the power. But we choose something to control power, to generate the power that is easily available. Okay. So people will be able to use that right. for their lifetime. Lots of thought process and what what tubes work best and yeah. All right, awesome. Um, it's like you have a lot of things that you can't see there because it's on the back. Sure. Uh, it's it's pretty full. Yeah, I think we went through it pretty good last year, but this is a good synopsis of you know what I was impressed so, with last year. So we start at first with a big big amps named the Adon that nobody ever seen. Yeah. It was like that. And our idea was to, how can we take a sense of that and bring that to a level so people can buy it. Okay. So what we've done is from that, we choose the best important, the more important things, and we design the quark. Okay. And after that, we go back to the same unit, the same A1 unit, and we said, now, if we go to casing, what we can do, because the head one is dual mono integrated, but on one casing, but it's two dual mono integrated. Oh, in one so, case. Uh, yeah, okay. it's, it's a big sl slide, uh, slide of uh, granite inside, and two, the case on each side, but that's gotcha. a whole prototype. Okay. So, we designed the boat on from that thing again. Okay. So, and now, we, the, the last unit, the small unit was the, the Squawk AC, because we wanted to make it more affordable. Yes. Okay. So we remove all that control and stuff. Now we have a, a, just a regular aluminum panel on top. I don't okay. know what it is. It's there. You know that a, that uh, Squawk AC is the a more more simple approach to the design. It still gives you a tremendous amount of performance, like much more right. of his price. And you can compete a lot of separate elements without problem. A lot of trickle down, so yeah. Yeah, but we have to remove things. Sure. To bring the price to that level. And what are we talking about price wise? 35. 35? Canadian. Okay, oh, Canadian. Okay. Yeah. And that's good. Um, and then. 90. 90. And 180. 180. Okay, so for obviously very high end systems, but with the pedigree and the technology, you can start here. Yeah, usually when people buy one, any of the model, if they want, if you want to go up, yeah. we try to get back the other one, so we don't okay. lose money, okay. we don't lose money. And how much uh, power are we talking about here? 280 watts. 200 oh, so watts. they would pretty much drive uh, anything. LMS. Okay. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of power. Yeah. And you have a very, very uh, high uh, damping levels. So you're able to hold about anything, you know. What, whatever, the, it's not only uh, ohms, it's, you can go down to two ohms. But it's Stable into that. two ohms, okay. Yeah, it's not only that, it's the way that we handle currents coming back from the loudspeakers. Yeah. The, yeah, the interface between the two, people sometimes overlook, yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to, a lot of people think that they will put a, a solid state amp and a tube preamp and they will make it work. It's not so easy. Yes. That's why it works because it's integrated and the research has made to make it work. So we control both sides of the equation. So it's easier to make them work together. Right. When you don't do that, it's really hard to make them work. It's still better than, than no, but it's not easy to get that level of performance. And I was talking about the aid one. So we're now starting getting out, maybe in a year, the, the aid one. Okay. And the idea is still 
the same that we had in the big uh, unit with two sides. So that was one side of the unit, another side here, and a stone in between. Okay. But now we change that. We make them two separate Now you're going to have three chassis. Yeah, and with a very special uh, holding furniture on the back that you can't see, but it's like uh, like this, and the, the, the amp seems floating in the air. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay. And the idea is you get the same... Uh, integrated amps, where you have more space, so you have better component, performance component, for example, capacitor. Mm -hmm. uh, you need a large contact zone. So large contact zone means big capacitor, big capacitor needs space. Okay. So we, just to give you a small idea, you get the um, all the preamp and amplifiers, the input stage, the volume control, everything is there. Yeah. Under it, you have all the power supply, the power supply, I think it's 10 or 15 power supply, it's right on the spec. Okay. And all the capacitor, and everything can be changed easily. You know, you open the dryer, you okay. unscrew so, some things, yep, you put a new capacitor. Yeah, just like you slide it out over here. Yeah. Yes, it's all the same. And on the bottom, you get all the transformer that now are far it's away from... Far the, away from any uh, other circuitry. Yeah. yeah. And you also get all specific filter for all section because it start to be a problem. Okay. And for now, uh, I have a tester here that can show you that we are like three percent harmonic distortion in the room. Electricity is coming Electricity, here; it's already three yeah. percent distorted. So yeah, you, so, you can treat that in the power supply. So yeah. now what we do is that we install uh, isolation transformer. We filter things from one way; other things we filter them from both way. For example, you have computers in that, so you want that completely filtered because you don't want to make pollution on the line back right. because you will take it back because it's AC. So you will get your first electron that you put in you that right. will be the first. So these do back. not need. In fact, this would be bad to put a power conditioner in front of this. No, no you should not. You never not do that. People just That's think it. that arbitrarily you just put power conditioners on amps and actually yeah. more times than not, it's wrong, it, especially it in one like this, which yeah. already has an isolate. You don't want to put two in That's series it, 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 and people put like isolation transformer on their whole house, but then they don't realize. That's the problem. Yeah. It's a problem, you, you yeah. You should put an isolation transformer at the source of the noise. Yes. Not, not the whole house. Not the whole house. Yes. Not your sound system, for yeah. sure. But there are people promoting that, unfortunately. You know, so. we have uh, computers in those amps that need an isolation transformer to be dead silence. But on the other hand, we, we don't want to put an isolation transformer on the output stage of the amp where, where we get all the current. Yeah. Because we want him to be really fast. Yeah, and you don't want two in series right after each other. But yeah, people don't, I don't understand so why that has become such we a... We made the filter, but it's part of the design. Yeah, it's right. If, you, if we you, circuit of it... No power conditioner needed. Yeah. Plug this into the wall, quality cord, quality hopefully behind the yeah. wall. So that product will uh, be out. We're starting uh, taking order. We have some order here yeah, because we know it's working because the prototype is not in the same case, but the prototype is already working. It was the origin of whatever we've done yet. Yeah. Right. And uh, those units will sell for about uh, 250, uh, 260. Okay. Million. Yeah, so it's four cost, no object budgets, but yeah, for once, sure. I'm hearing stuff that is legitimate cost, no object technology. Like, this is the type of stuff, if you've got the money where that's a drop in the bucket, you know, then this is what you want because this is what I would always envision. If I was building an amplifier, and I'm not technically like you are, but using the technology you're using, supercomputers, the way you do the integrated, everything you're doing, controlling temperature, um, and doing basically the power conditioning in the unit for the person, this is what I think is a true in high fact, end. We bring medical and military technology uh -huh. to the home user, yeah. customer. But those techniques are known for a long time. Yeah. But nobody do it because it's small. Right. You're paying for that and not some f fancy heat sink fins and, that's it. you that's know, it. you know, whatever. Put the money where it will make a change. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So that's why I wanted to feature you guys. I think you should be featured more. We have the new remote now because a long time the remote was not really helpful. Hey, we check. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Does okay. somebody send the remote? Oh, here, right. What is this here? No, it's not that one, but it looks look the same. It looks similar. It's yeah. the same, but it's not that one. And you know what? It matches Jacques' CD player perfectly. Yeah, but... And this, this whole... Oracle. Yes. Oracle. No, made Oracle. 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 <laughs> made the design. Mm -hmm. So they, they made the box spots. Yes. 
Oh, they didn't. They made the box. They made the box. They are so that's why it's timely. Yeah, it's perfect. They're okay. not only supplier. They're our partner. A partner. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's why we're here together. I, I bug them so much. <laughs> You're not supposed to know everything. <laughs> See, that's why I have to follow you around more, Jacques. You got all these secrets, you know. Well, you've been in the industry forever, so oh, well, very few people. That doesn't make me very. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really? That's true. Is that a compliment? Good. Well, Thank you very much. No, well, you work. Uh, well, you, you're friends with Steve McCormick, who's you know Absolutely, I'm very close yeah. with. Yes. Yeah, and I'm here with my mar partner, Stefan. Hey, Stefan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Stefan has so much good people. Stefan. No, that's what I like to feature in this room. You know, Ofra does a great job with her speakers. These are more innovative than you probably look if you don't realize how they're decoupled and the time alignment, the quality aesthetics. This could go in any room with the well, different we, type. We definitely make. A great team. I mean, we, we, we've been partnered for, for a number of years and we developed this synergy of working together, but more importantly, the whole system is blended, blending so nicely. Right. Exactly. Uh, so. so it's, you know, people, people come in and, you know, they, they hear this, this marvelous, beautiful sound and it's, it's just the, the result of the teamwork. I mean, just the turntable or CD player, and just that one single component can be very good, right. but they work as as a you know synergistically. That, that was close. Uh, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> that was a, yeah. Same anyway, it's like, it was like together. Oracle, you know. Anyway, but uh, so anyway, the, the, we we manage every year to pull it out and and do. A great show because we work well together and the equipment work well together and and we do and Cardis, guys, don't well that's right I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah we got Cardis. We, uh, we don't see them but we're actually we're five people here uh, there's the the person that makes uh, the, the solid solid furniture yeah I, I featured him in Montreal great guy um, yeah, absolutely. I would love to have these unfortunately moot yeah. Shipping these costs more than buying these. Well, yeah, you know? Know, absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah. They're, but they're, they're beautiful, massive, and, and, and anybody in Canada should be looking at these racks. I told you about the uh, AN1 that have this kind of uh, furniture, specific furniture that make like look them like they float. Yes, you're they using him? Oh, okay. They, so, they make, true we Canadian. We have a partnership with them too, so they make that in steel, and they will hold the product. So it's like you get those amps floating one over the other. So you're partnering with great people uh, that I can vouch for, at least in my limited I experience. Here well, except in for Josh. We believe in partnership. We believe that together we yes. can remember. Remember. <laughs> No, this but, is but a great this, team. I mean, this, is, this is very massive, like you look yeah. at this furniture, but since the gear we have take its own place, well then it, it blends very nicely. And, and as uh, Ofra was saying, the, what we don't see is, is what's behind all of the Cardas. I mean, right. the Cardas people have been supportive uh, uh, and, and part of the, uh, of the team for, for a number of years yeah, as well. Yeah. So, so, you know, we come with each our own expertise and manage to make this expertise work very nicely. We're together. able to work together. That's not easy to find people that are able to work together. We, it's because now we have... Eagles. Enough trust. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, yeah, that's we, true. We have that's a enough, problem. E enough trust in each yes. other because yeah. we know that everyone will do his best. And really, for me, and part of my channel, I really do a video. This is almost going on 30 minutes now. I really don't do this kind of video in most rooms. But because this is such a busy room, busy show, a lot of people may not audibly be able to hear. If they're off axis, this room is filled with noise. You've got the hallway. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get the level of performance that the potential in your home in a dedicated listening area. So I think it's more important for me to spend time instead of playing tracks with all that noise to come in here, hear about the people, learn about the people. And I think that among at least high IQ audiophiles, they're gonna value that more than just what they hear off axis at a show and make their knee jerk conclusions. This is something that synergy wise, technology wise, pedigree wise, just, you know, Unmatched in the industry, I like to feature this it's room. It's aligned so. with what we do. It's aligned with what we do because, for example, every time we go on a show, we help the reseller because we ask each reseller to make demo at house, not in their showroom, in the house of the clients. 
yeah. we want them to try it and usually they keep it yeah. so we help them doing that here people will come here even if it's not really good they will never be able to get the same so performance. Yeah, it's never going to be exactly what they're going to get, right? It would be better at the end, much better. Yes. Well, great. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, this was great thank as you, usual. Jason. Thank you, Jason. All right. Thanks, Steve, very much. I yeah. don't like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. <laughs>